Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video tutorial. This will be part number 4 from section 2 of chapter 10. Again, it will be another example on how uh, two cannons and one chariot can combine to attack. So, without further ado, let us begin. Now, a short analysis of the position will show that red would have two chariots, two cannons, a full guard, four pawns. Black could have similar material, two chariots, one cannon, one horse, a full guard, and three pawns. Now, uh, red has already controlled the central file with the cannon. Uh, the two chariots are already at the th throat rank preparing to attack, and this cannon has also co helped to control this uh, line. So how can red further his advantage to turn the position into a kill? So the first move would be to sacrifice the chariot. Check. Now at this point in time, the chariot would now have control the centroid position on the board. So the king is now basically cornered, and after and after the red chariot has controlled the centroid, now it would be uh, now red would have to try to find a way to maneuver his cannons to this file to attack to deliver the final checkmate. Now the following moves are quite uh, are some of the basic tactics that are often used uh, when try after getting the chariot to this position or a pawn uh, can can also be positioned here. So the first thing that red would do would be to play c c4 equals to six, preparing to checkmate. Now let's say red tried to sacrifice his chariot for the cannon. C6 plus 1, the chariot cannot retreat or you will be captured. So, he will make use of his, uh, his material on his uh, side of the board to act as cannon mounts uh, to further his attack. Let's say Black tried to retreat his uh, chariot over here so that if C5 equals to 6, he could play R2 equals to 4. Red will simply block the attempt. And red would retreat his cannon so that they will be tightly knit and nothing can come within this file without the black king being delivered a check. Now, let us retract a little bit. Let's say instead of r2 plus 7, if again uh, black tried to block the cannons by moving his horse, what would happen? Now, uh, the idea behind this move is that black could now play r4. Uh, sorry, R3, H3 plus 4 to block this position. So Black would, Red would simply retreat his cannon, preparing to deliver a checkmate. So Black would be forced to play H3 plus 5. So if this, the C5 equals to 6, Red, Black could still block his, uh, block, block uh, the cannons from delivering a checkmate. Red would counter by with C6 plus 3. R2 plus 5, and again a powerful E9 plus 7 to block the chariot from attacking. So at this point in time, nothing can prevent Red from delivering a checkmate with C5 equals to 6. So, so a short recap of the situation of this bot of Red sacrifices the chariot to control the centroid pawn. A uh, central intersection, sorry. So the remaining task for Red will be try to find a way to position both cannons on this file for the final checkmate. So because the six is the first move. In this first variation, Red Black tries to use the chariot, but unfortunately, he will be thwarted by red pieces, as Black Red would now play. Uh, there will be no way that Black can position his chariot or use other pieces to try to prevent the double cannon's checkmate. Now if black tried to use the horse again some nifty maneuvering by red would mean that red would now be prepared to checkmate again with c5 equals to 6 so black would be forced to capture the elephant in forced to capture the elephant and there will be nothing that black can do to prevent the checkmate. So I hope you've enjoyed this short uh, video. This is, I believe, the take-home uh, lesson for this 
video is how to maneuver uh, your cannons after the chariot has commanded the central intersection. So red skill in this in this board. The first step will be to occupy the central position, and the second step will be how to maneuver the cannon. Thank you and I hope you have enjoyed this short video. If you like the work that I've been doing, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you.